Hello, in this video I'm going to tell you about the console of my DocSafe. This is the main screen that you will see after logging in um, and uh, I would like to just explain to you what you are actually looking at. So on the left hand side you see a number of icons. These are the icons of um, companies that are sharing documents with you or companies that you're managing. So if, if a company shares a folder, a file or folder with you, their icon will appear here and if you click on it, you will change the context into that company. Um, now, creating your own company um, can be done by clicking on this plus button. This is a, a premium service that is not available for all, all plans. Um, but what this means is that my MyDocSafe allows multi-identity um, um, accounts and um, and basically create automatically creates portals for companies that want to share documents uh, with with their stakeholders. The middle panel here shows the products that are currently available and and some setting icons. The e-signature. Uh, if you click on it, it allows you to upload the document for signing if you have it ready. A, f a form uh, that's an engine that allows you to create forms by simply dragging and dropping fields. Um, that uh, that you want to be included in the form. Workflow is an engine that allows you to combine documents for signing with forms, with identity checking and potentially with payments. And um, I will cover that um, in a separate video. Identity verification is a service that queries um, data provided by the user with external databases to confirm uh, that uh, they already exist and uh, we've also linked up with some artificial intelligence technology to verify authenticity of identity documents. That's also a premium service. Document templating engine allows you to create a document from scratch inside my DocSafe. Here's an example of a template that we have created um, and this is the way it looks. You can you can create any document you need, uh, including uh, tables and, and graphics, and then you can create variables uh, as long as you enclose them in, in square and in curly brackets. That, that allows you to reuse the same document many times. All you have to do is to save the template, and then from that template, you can create an instance of, of a document, fill up um, the variables, and then save it as a PDF, and then send it for signing. I will also cover that under a separate video. Here in the ma main panel, you, you see a fully fledged document management system. Um, you could create f files and folders, you can import and export data, you can uh, you see all the widgets for various types of data uh, types, uh, files, folders, um, templates, uh, identity reports, uh, onboarding processes and, and forms. The top box here is, is the branding area, which uh, you could adjust. You could define your, your um, logo, and this logo will immediately appear in your client portals in, in this sort of way. Um, you can also define a, a background image uh, and, and actually a folder image, which is this little square here. Um, this, I, this is important because it allows you to uh, automatically set up branding for emails that will go out. Um, that we send on your behalf. And on top here, uh, here you have some notifications. This is an e-signature notification, which means that there are five documents that need attention. I will also cover that in a separate video. And all, all the other icons um, are um, sort of self-explanatory um, and will also be covered in a, in a separate video. Thank you for listening.